So I thought, let me do a video today of actually showing you what I'm eating. So you see, I've got a whole chocolate, dark chocolate here, 90%. The reason why it's 90% because it's chocolate and fat. It's Low in carbs. Everything here is high in fat. Low in carbs. I got macadamia nuts here. Um, and my sauce here. You know I hate vegetables. <laughs> So, let me show you, so you can see what I've got there, yeah, if you see, so what I've got is um, some broccoli, I've got some broccoli, um, a little bit of broccoli over here. I cooked up some um, spinach, salmon, and egg. Tacos. I got cheese here as well. Oops, I got cheese here as well. And um, bacon. About six pieces of bacon. All in all, yeah. Won't start to be. Just over 200 grams of fat. Um, it's about 160, 170, something like that, grams of protein. And about, i say probably like 10, 15 grams of carbs. That's the key. High fat, low carbs. High fats from protein. So, in general, what I've been doing, I've actually been having higher fats than the protein. And then obviously carbs is the lowest. The only thing that really classifies as a carb is a um, the actual spinach and the broccoli. You know what? It's so funny because as a personal trainer, we're told to have that five to ten meals a day. Um, Five to ten meals a day. Uh, five to ten meals a day. So it's hard with them eating to enjoy my food. Five to ten meals a day. Because it speeds up your metabolism. You hear that. You go here, you'll have so much protein in a day. Got to spread it out. And don't get me wrong, it works. But the thing is that in general, yeah, you're not good for your body. Because your body is constantly raising insulin. Because every time you eat, insulin goes up. So as you know, yeah, currently today, I'm 12 so The last I've ever been. And all I've been doing is intimate fasting. And when I eat high fats and protein. A lot of people are not gonna do what I've done. Yeah? It's hard. Because you know, I'm naturally, I'm an I'm a, I'm a edamorph. 
which means it has been very, very hard losing this way, especially in this pandemic. But, I know, yeah, if you don't work hard for it, you can't get it. And what people will understand is that when you're an animal, you're constantly having to think about, oh, if I eat this food, I'm going to put on weight. Put on weight quickly. On that, an ectomorph, they could just, they could just eat. They struggle to put on fat. And struggle to put on muscle. I thought to myself, you know what? Let me just drop the weight. Let me just drop it. Because the thing is, yeah, it has been challenging, yeah, and obviously I don't like looking skinny. I look so skinny now. Like, I've lost weight in my face. On my waist, which I really want. I just feel it on my back, my bum, my legs. You know what I mean? So, it has been tough. It's been really, really, really tough. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Training. I hate running. But I was doing like 4k a day. I stopped running. Um, I stopped running yesterday. I have been. Not yesterday, sorry. I stopped running last week. And this week had just been a focus of. Hit training and intimate fasting. Right here. Alright. So what? Mask of the nuts. Really high on fat, low and hard. Everything's here. High in fat. Low in cost. Oh yeah. That's what I was saying. So yeah. In bodybuilding. In fitness. Personal trainer, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, you're told to eat 6 to 10 meals, yeah. But also, you're told to just have a bit of carbs. Not too much carbs. Depending on what you're trying to do. We're trying to build our lose weight. And I've always been told, yeah, ah, oh, get stuff with fat free. No, that's wrong. You want stuff with fat in it. Here's the thing. What I realised, you know, that I know it's running. But I realize is that fats, fats only becomes a problem when you're having too much carbs. The fact that your body, yeah, it lacks the fat. But the thing is with carbs, yeah, it takes carbs first, isn't it? And that's the carbs. It's a bit like, say when you're driving. No. Then you've got to go to the shop. Do you drive or do you walk? What's easier? Driving, a lot of times it's driving. That's how it works with your body. Why bother trying to get rid of the stored fat? And you're always feeding me. When you understand that concept there, yeah, you start to realise, okay, I have to change what I'm eating. So, I up my fat. 
דור מחוף, אפל אי על החוף, לארצו אפל אי על החוף. Usually I have a spoon, but for wet, I can't even bother to go to the kitchen. You know what's so interesting about me as well? Anyone that knows me, home, I'm really lazy. I was watching something on Usain Bob the other day. My granddad posted it to me. And you know what? Me and Usain Bolt very similar. In a sense whereby I'm lazy. But I remember I don't think it's a bit different than me and Usain Bolt. Obviously, he was the fastest man in the world. And he doesn't like the gym. Nah. I love the gym. This would have been a lot easier if gyms was open. But I'm not. So, what I've actually done is um, it's a funny story. Um, but actually, just before I go on to it, let me just finish you saying, well, he was saying that he'll call people downstairs to go uh, say, I'll pass the control. <laughs> I do it to my friends. I do it to my sister. Everyone. Hi, brother. Let me show you something. I got this, yeah? I actually got this. The longest one, yeah? So I can pick up things. I can't bother to move. It's just crazy. But in the gym, always motivated. I've never felt demotivated in the gym. I just love the gym. I love it. I'm lucky. I'm lucky on someone that does love the gym. So I would assume it's been really hard, but. I've done it, you know what I mean? Try to move on close to And by the time um, Sunday comes, I'll be even louder. Because obviously, Sunday's my cheat day, innit? So, we'll see what I'm wearing on Sunday. Been good though. Has been good. Um. I'm glad I'm here now. Getting here has been horrible. Like, the fact that I really hate running. Hit training. I don't like hit training either, but I've been doing it. I know the whole, I know the benefit of it, man. It's got such a benefit. When you do hit training. Oh, I've got a lot of benefit to it. Yeah, if there's a benefit, I must do it, man. I must. I must, 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 must. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to leave this little bit here. My last, last bite. So, now I'm going to go. Dark chocolate and nuts. I don't have to be putting this. This could be 90% there. I don't have to be putting this. This one's stomach. It's not bad. Mm. I can't stomach this thing for half a film. I thought, you know what? I'm doing this video 
I want people to understand that I am eating this food. And I don't want to say, I, I'm not the kind of person to say, this is what you should do if I'm not doing it myself, like a lot of people. So, I feel the reason why so much people struggle with losing weight because they haven't really looked into it. So, now I'm going to say something that I said to you, let me finish reducing it. Well, now I'm going to say what I was going to say. So, as a personal trainer, you just got to learn more than everyone else. Which isn't hard. So most people don't look at their foods. Just buy it. They don't understand food. They don't understand. Um, funny enough, yeah, I don't look at calories though. I don't look at calories once. I don't feel just the fats, the carbs, and the protein. I'm fiber. But it's funny though because before I started doing this, I wouldn't I would look at calories, but it still wouldn't be too important. But since I started having high fats, I had looked at the the calories once, so I have no idea how much calories I'm eating. No. Um, yeah, for you know, I've been watching a lot of doctors talk about it. But I've done intimate fasting before, you know. But When I tried to do it before, oh. when I tried to do it before, um, yeah, when I tried to do it before, uh, what happened? Um, yeah. What well, problem was with doing it before is that I have I kept the lean meat for with beef five percent anything else here was really low in fat uh, and I have there were vegetables I always felt hungry though. Always. And don't get me wrong. The weight was coming down. But every time I finished eating, I felt hungry. But when I realised that you don't want to be having lean meat. You want to be having more fatty meat. When you get beef, it's 20% fat. So now, yeah, whatever's fatty, I'm like, yeah. And I saw, yeah, when I started looking at food that I was recommended, I was like, raw. I look at bacon, high in fats, low in carbs, salmon, High in fats. All this stuff high in fats. Macadamia nuts. High in fats. Dark chocolate. High in fats. Low in carbs. I'm like, raw. Okay. It makes sense. And then, what I've been doing is you've got insulin resistance and insulin sensitive. So, I've been getting to the point where I'm getting my body to insulin sensitive. Why am I body insulin? 
What you guys just have? But in film, it's really, really low. For you to start burning fat. So, that's what's good about fasting. When you fast, your insulin's low. So, your boy's like, your boy's like, oh crap, I gotta start taking food from the fat still. To store his energy, I gotta start getting it out. That's how you drop the weight. But a lot of people been doing though. They're not getting their insulin low. They're not allowing their insulin to get low. Human beings in general, that's in general, yeah. Like when you talk about it, think about this. Think about back in the day. I bet we never used to get food like that frequently. We never used to get food frequently like that. Nowadays, yeah, we can go and Uber Eats, we can walk to the shop, we can buy food, whatever. We can eat whenever we want to eat. It wasn't like that back in the day, remember? So, it's a lot of help for their food. So, even though we've evolved as people, our body seems to seem to kind of be very much the same. So, our body, even though know, we might not like what we're seeing on the outside, on the inside, yeah, it's in safe mode. It just constantly keeps storing. We keep giving it food. It doesn't need to take the, the stored energy. We keep giving it food. You get me? So, that has been one of the problems of why I put away. You know why I'm lucky as well? Even though I hate vegetables, what else I have to say to you? I'm always willing to try things, no matter what. No matter what the smell, no matter what it looks like, I always try it. There's been a lot of things in my life here that you look at you think, ugh. But it smells like that, ugh. I still eat it. Let's see what it's saying. I've got this last little bit left. Cheese, bacon, salmon. Oh. So funny, I'm so craving. So, I'm gonna say a couple of things. So, yeah, I've lost all this weight here, yeah, it's been amazing, yeah. But I was gonna say, yeah, you have to do what works for you. So, for example, what I would say, yeah, it has been really challenging for me, but in general, if I think about all the training that I've done. Um, all the training, the eating, the different kinds of foods and all that kind of stuff. I feel what's difficult about being an Edimorph, yeah, and that's what I said earlier, is that you constantly, when you go out with your friends, you constantly got to be strict. You, like, you want to be strict. And also, I'm a big eater, so when I go to a restaurant, I'm not going to eat strict. So I said, okay, you know what? Pardon. The best thing for me to do is um, lose all the weight. Drop it all. Yeah, I don't care about getting skinny. Because the way I'm lucky, yeah, so remember, I love the gym. I'm working the muscle. I, lo I love the gym. So, when the gym's open on Monday, the 12th of April, I can't wait. Also, some also I go. There's a twenty four hour gym as well. I can use that as well. You know how much training I, I love training. I'm one of the kind of people that when I when I, having rest days is difficult for me. Yeah? but I do it because you know you have to have these rest days here because that's how you recover in it. That's how you rebuild. 
but it had it, it, someone like me, it has been difficult. So like during 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 this during this pandemic, yeah, the training's been difficult for me. So I can say that I'm more similar to how other people might find training. I so having to do the the four k runs in the morning, and then uh, hours later, I do some some weight training, and I do a little bike ride here, yeah, like a thirty minute bike ride indoor, one of them little pedal things, and then the last workout will be another twenty minutes um, weight training, whether it's chest, arms, back, shoulders, whatever, and. Because of all the running I'm doing, yeah, the made sure I didn't want to work legs as well. So my legs get even skinnier, innit? So all of these challenges come, yeah, because you just drop weight, you're dropping weight everywhere. And they say you can't really control where you want to lose weight. So I just kept dropping, dropping, side. And also as well, I got to a point where I could do all the weights on a dumbbell. Now I've gone really, really down. So I've gone literally from like three weights on each side, yeah, like three three of the weights on each in one so let's talk about this one dumbbell three weights so it was probably like if i think about 15 think about 15 kg each side i got two and now i'm on like i don't know five or something like that but i just feel feel a lot weaker i mean i can just tell that i've lost i've lost fat and muscle which i didn't which i don't really care about I've just been doing the, the, the muscle training to kind of maintain, but at the end of the day, it's a loss. But I said, yeah, until my waist here is completely flat, yeah, I ain't focusing on building. I've got no interest. I just want my, my waist really, really small. Because one of the things that's been good about this journey is that I would always eat like this. I will always eat, eat, eat this. But what I want to do is put myself in a position here that when I do go out, and when I have a cheat, cheat, cheat day, or so not cheat day, cheat, cheat meal, with my friends, or yeah, you know I mean you can get away with it. Look at Dwayne Johnson, for example. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be that big, yeah, because at his age, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get that big. But at my, at my age, yeah, I wouldn't want to be that big. But I do love Dwayne Johnson, yeah, because I, I like his work ethic. He's very similar to me, but obviously he's rich, <laughs> and he's very. Um, he also, I like his work ethic, and I like his training. Ethic. Uh, him and Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is kind of more the kind of stuff that I do because I, I I do do the stuff that Dwayne Johnson, all that weight stuff. I, I love. I really love this the Dwayne Johnson side of it. But on the flip side, I'm doing the other stuff that Kevin Hart would do, like the hit training, the burpees, and all that kind of stuff. So those two in general, yeah, definitely. I definitely will train with Kevin Hart one day, and Dwayne Johnson. Uh, it will be really it will be really pathetic with Dwayne Johnson right now. I'm so weak. But with Kevin Hart, the 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 endurance stuff and that would be good. But you know, I say probably like what middle of this month, I probably have my waist completely small. I mean, I swear I got about like one inch down. Um, I'll pull up my top in a minute, but this is after eating. But what I can say here yeah, is, um, yeah, I'm really, really, really happy with the results. Um, as as you know, yeah, I prefer to be fat than skinny, but. If it means getting skinny to then put on weight, that's fine. Cause I ain't ever gonna put. I'm never gonna have a belly again. Cause I know exactly what needs to be done. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna have such little fat on me. Yeah. I know exactly the kind of food to be eating, the kind of training. I I, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to building. Yeah. When it comes to building, when it comes to losing weight, I do know what I'm talking about. Pardon. Just that. Before when I had as before, yeah, it was like. I was 13 stone 10 and uh, I feel like I just kind of brought my abs out but I actually want to lose the, the, the lower start the lower part of the stomach here is the hardest part to go and even though I could see abs here they'll still have that little bit there and I remember talking about it in the video but now I'm staying focused on getting that completely flat and then once that's completely flat then I can get the building going on because the because I love training so much, yeah, I will always be in a stage where I'm just building, maintaining and stuff like that. So that's the reason why it was important for me just to drop all the weight. Just drop all the weight. It's like being an ectomorph and starting over again. But the thing is about an ectomorph is that they struggle to put a muscle and fat, yeah? I eat a lot. 
you just see what I just eat there, yeah? And that's not even me full, yeah? That's about high carbs and stuff like that. I can eat a lot. I can have like two large pizzas, milkshakes. I can eat high amounts. So whenever I've trained people, initially back in the day when I was doing old person training stuff, yeah? I would go out with some clients and go out with people and we'll eat. And sometimes they just can't eat enough because they're an ectomorph. They have to eat more. Because I might not have to eat that much yeah, because I'm an edomorph. So because I struggle to lose weight, but I don't struggle to put on weight, fat, muscle, it's easy stuff. So getting right down to 12 years has been really, really difficult because I've had to be strict with the dieting, strict with the, the strict, sorry, strict with intimate fasting, stick to my plan with intimate fasting, stick to the running. Like, you know, every day I didn't want to do the 4K run, but I did it. And on Saturday, I did I did 5, 5K, yeah? Um, and I've only been doing it for about two weeks. And then the last week, last week, as in the last week, which was last week, I did 4K Monday to Friday. And then Saturday, I did 6K. I knew it was going to be the end. And then on Wednesday and, first, Wednesday and Friday, Wednesday and Saturday, I do HIIT training, uh, which consists of me just doing 10 burpees, and 10 so 20 knee ups 15 times so i did that wednesday saturday this week now i'm doing it monday wednesday friday and sunday right which is a bit too much but i'm just doing that because i know from monday yeah i'm going to the gyms i won't be doing any of this cardio and stuff i'm, I'm i might still do a bit of hit training i'll do good things i'll be doing boxing in the morning in it so it depends. Sometimes I might do boxing in the morning. I really hate the walking in the morning, like, you know, the, the fat burning in the morning, uh, the walking stuff. I find it quite boring. Yesterday, not yesterday, because yesterday I did uh, core and boxing. So 20 minutes core, boxing for 20 minutes. But prior to that, I did the hit training, but later on, on the Monday, uh, I did a 4K walk and I find the walking stuff a lot more challenging. I think it's because it's fat burning, it drains you, it just feels really drained. And I, I'm, I, I don't really like walking. Yeah, as I said, I'm really lazy. Yeah, but when I'm in the gym, yeah, I just have the energy. Like, you know, I could feel tired on the way to the gym, whether I walk, drive, ride, whatever. But when I'm in the gym, yeah, I don't forget for that. That's just why I, that's just why I don't take pre-workout. Like, I've taken many pre-workouts in the past, like, years ago. But I realised, you know, I don't need pre-workout. And many times that like PTs and fitness people have said to me, oh, you want any pre-workout? And I'll be like, no, nah, I don't even take it. I tried loads of them. I remember one time I tried, I tried uh, Jack 3D. And they said the maximum you use is three scoops. I had one scoop, two scoop, and three scoops. Yeah, I tried them all, yeah, it for nothing. One time my dad was using, he was like, you know what, son? When you get older, there's a part of you, there's something that you lose, yeah, as you get older, which makes it hard to train. This is it. Yeah, <laughs> so so funny. He had that one scoop. That was Jack 3D. Um, but yeah, I, mean, I suppose I'm just having a real, real talk about this journey because, you know, I'm not going to really do this again, this this talking, but I, I will do the, the weighing again. So, um, oh yeah, prior to this, I've already had two litres of water this morning. Um, I have about five litres, minimum five litres water a day. But days I don't train, yeah, I tend to get to three. And also, I'm not forcing it. Usually, yeah, I was trying to force a two litre, three litres a, a, a day. But I actually feel like I, with this whole intimate fasting and the eating and all that, because I need to drink, yeah. So getting to five litres, yeah, that's without me trying, you know. I just drink it and, like, oh, right, it's five litres, you know what I mean? So, there have been a lot of differences. But how this journey really started for me is that, you know, after doing a personal training course, yeah, I did always want to know about the in, the, in, the, 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 the human body inside, yeah, like the um, anatomy and physiology side of it. But um, I just never really got into it after I passed the course. And you know, this is the reason why I'm saying don't ever give up because, you know, with a personal training course, yeah, I was ahead with coursework. But with exams, yeah, I was just bad. I've never been good at exams. When it came to nutrition, I passed that first time. When it came to principles to exercise, um, um, on, on, that's level two. And I passed that. That was to do with exercising. That was easy. 
But when it came to loss of me, physiology level two, level three, I failed them three times before I passed them the fourth time. And then in the last week here, yeah, I had to do the level two, level three, anatomy and physiology, back to back on the last day. Yeah, and um, I did a lot of studying. Luckily, we had a two week break because it was Christmas. So I did a lot of studying in those two weeks here. Yeah. And yeah, on the last day of the course here, yeah, passed it all. So that was really, that was really, the course was really, really challenging for me with the exam stuff. Because you actually have to know stuff. You know what I mean? So, that was, um, that was tough. But I'm really, really glad that that happened. But yeah, so what happened, yeah, uh, it's been really, like, this year, you know, I was having a bath and um, I tried to get onto Netflix and I realised that Netflix is not on this phone. So I said, oh, let me just put something on to do with fitness. I started talking about intimate fasting. I just really got into it. Just really started to learn and understand how things are working. We've got insulin, the human body, all that kind of stuff. So I started trying it. And now look at me now. 12 stone. Crazy. Crazy. I remember when I in 2017, when I went up to like 19 stone, I dropped down to like 13 or 13, 10. Now I went from 19, 10 to 13, 10. Yeah, and I did that on purpose. But still, I've never been this small. I'm just so skinny, it's crazy. Like when people see me in the gym, they're gonna be like, whoa, what happened to you? But it's funny, like a lot of people would hate to get skinny, but someone like me that really strives on building, getting bigger arms, bigger shoulders, it's like, I'm, as I said, it's like I'm starting again. And like I'm starting from a skinny place, so it's gonna be so much easier. Cause I'm not someone that's gonna have to bang out carbs. You know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I'm telling you now, I would never get um, a belly again and it's completely flat. So my aim is to get, it's funny because at 13, 10, I feel like my abs looked more dominant because I was really, really working them. But as I said, the lower stomach wasn't there. But now I feel like I look quite flat, but my stomach, lower stomach is a lot smaller than it was in, um, in uh, 2017, when I did that, 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 the last video. But um, I think I might upload this video on YouTube and then probably the video on Sunday on YouTube. And that would be it. I wouldn't really do what I would do. Because I have been doing videos, yeah, but really just to, to note to me. I haven't really put it on YouTube and stuff like that. But... Um, I'll tell you why I put it on YouTube too. I'm, I'm going to tell you after. That'll be the last thing I'm going to say. But I just want to say, yeah, that I've always seen training the way I see life. If you don't work for it, if you don't train hard, yeah, if you don't work hard, you're never going to be successful. Yeah, whether it's to do with your body, with your career, life, everything, relationships, all of that, you have to work hard. Uh, people will understand, yeah, listen. Not everyone gets a good start in life. Some people get a real, real hard start in life. Yeah? So it's going to be harder for you. Now, for me, if I talk about me personally, I wouldn't say I don't have anyone in my family that's got money. Like, we're not coming from a money family. I didn't get pocket money, all that kind of stuff. Yeah? But I do well for myself now. Yeah? I am doing very, very well. Not, en not well enough yet yeah, to help everyone else, though. And that's what I'm planning to do. But with me now, it's my, it's the way I think, yeah. I remember when it came to the personal training stuff, yeah. I, I one day decided, you know what? One of the reasons why I didn't get the, didn't do it because I just felt like I couldn't pass the, the test. But I did, I said that with my theory test and my driving test and I've done it. Yeah, and that was years ago. I was a kid when I did that. So, one day it was about 3 a.m. Yeah, I just signed up to it. I said, you know, I, I'm a kind of, that kind of person. I just got to put myself in it. I tried level two before, yeah, online, yeah, but I just couldn't commit to it. So with this one, when I did the, the personal training course, I said, okay, I'm going to do it in a way where I go in from Monday to Friday. So I had to go in. And also, you know, I drive, yeah, but where I was going, yeah, there was no parking. So I actually had to catch a train every day. So what it was, yeah, it was like nine till five. And initially, when I first went there, I realised with this train service, yeah, it's just so busy. So... I actually had to leave out early, so I started getting to the course here about 7.45. Yeah, knowing that it starts at 9. So at 7.45, so I'm reading and 
learning, do my work here on the train. And it's 7.45 here. When I come into this coming year, it's just me there. I'm doing all the work and all that, you know, studying, being ready for the day. Teacher comes in about half an hour, like 8.30, go in, do all of that. Um, and I was doing that. And the thing is as well, what's so mad yeah, after we finish at five, I'm on my way. I go to the gym after and I come back, study, study until like, I would say about two, three in the morning. Go to sleep, wake up here yeah, around five, five thirty, because I've got to be out again, have a shower and all that kind of stuff here yeah, and get there for 7.45, 7.45, 7.50. So it was, it was challenging. But yeah, I did that. And then uh, before the course finished, um, I secured a job as a personal trainer in the gym. I did that. And that's because I feel like as a personal trainer, you have to know how to talk to people. Yeah, you, you got to engage. I, I like talking to people. I like helping people. I like, you know, I really like engaging with people. So what happened is, um, yeah, she wanted to give me an interview and in the end she didn't. She just phoned me and said, um, she, she asked about my situation. I told her, yeah, I'm still on the course, yeah, so I can come in now and again she was like yeah start so i got a job i secured a job before i finished the course when i finished the course i started working there it was the gym group and that was a. Uh, it was it, it worked in a way where you do 13 hours for them and the rest is is, is yours so what i would have to do i'd have to do some cleaning i'd have to do some classes um hoovering all that kind of stuff and outside of those 13 hours i would have to that's where I could uh, train clients here if I, if I get clients. Uh, my shifts were Monday to Wednesday. So I used to do 7 till 12 on a Monday, 7 till 12 on a Tuesday, and then 7 till 10 on a Wednesday a.m., um, which was good. And I remember my dad used to say to me, have you got clients? Have you got clients? I never tried to get clients. And this was in January. My birthday was coming up, so I said to, I said to, I said to my dad, no, I'm going to get a client. And um, I did actually get a client, yeah, but not in the way where I asked for it. I just was talking to him and then he said, oh, I can you my PT? And then that was it. Happened. And, you know, ever since that day, yeah, I've never, ever got clients. Everyone always come to me. And that's what I'm saying. You've got to know how to talk to people. I remember one time in the gym, this girl was like to me. I won't mention the PT's name, but she, she was like to me, uh, you know what? I always talk to you and you're always giving me giving me advice and stuff. I should be PT with you. I hope you're cheaper than um than yeah this person. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm more expensive. But she still went with me. So at the time, yeah, the minimum you could charge was thirty pound an hour, and I was sixty. Yeah, I remember people with PTs and people saying to me, you're not gonna get sixty pound. The gym's nineteen ninety nine. This is where people don't. Because this is where people go wrong. Don't think like that. Know your worth. One of the things that stuck in my head when I was on the course, we had a, we had a teacher for four weeks, uh, sorry, six weeks. And in the two weeks when we had the break here, the last week here, that teacher was unwell. So we had a different teacher. He was talking, yeah. He was talking about how he charges £150 an hour. I was like, £150 an hour? Everyone was like, whoa, wait, 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 pull back, pull back. £150 an hour, people was like. This is what people were saying, but I remember thinking to myself, yeah, why not? And he, 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 everyone was surprised. And he used to come with a different car every, every day, you know what I mean? He, he, he was doing well for himself. Look at me now, 2021, I'm like 200 pound an hour. You know what I mean? This is how I roll. You know what I mean? You think to yourself, how, how could you be 200 pound an hour? How do you get, how? Put the work in, yeah? Put the work in, yeah? Put the work in, engage with those people. You know what I mean? That's what you have to do. Um, you know, you've got all these courses online, yeah, you know, oh, do this online trainer. All work, all work. So just on the to end this 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 video, now I'm gonna tell you, yeah. So right now I'm creating this uh this social platform called wellfitness.online. Um not dot com, so ww dot worldfitness.online and what I'm doing, I'm creating a social platform here whereby I want to bring everyone together, all the fitness people, um, all the doctors, uh, everyone to do with fitness and health. 
and mental health. Because I really want, yeah, you know, I really, really like to help people, but I really want to, I really wanted to create something here whereby it's a place that you go to to feel happy. Problem is just some of the social medias, yeah. I, I love social media. I have no problem with social media, but I know a lot of people do, yeah, because you get a lot, you know, you get racist people on there, you get people cussing you, and it's just not a good feeling for a lot of people, yeah. And you gotta understand, most people in this world really care about what other people say and what other people do. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the world we live in. I don't really care about those things. I care about what I do, and I and I and I want to be someone great, and I want to help people. I want to change the world. So I'm creating this platform, yeah, so that it will be a social platform where people can, you know, just, just similar to, you mean, similar to a lot of the social platforms out there, but where it's different yeah, is that you won't be getting any abuse, yeah, and also I feel that it's really mixed the way fitness is, because you've got people that talk to you about intimate fasting, and you've got people that say have six, ten meals a day, you know what I mean? What was interesting, I saw a video on YouTube, you know, this doctor and this fitness model, and it was so interesting, those two talks, those them talking and just having a conversation not cussing each other yeah because obviously the doctor he really understands the human body i like when you're a fitness model personal trainer yeah, you know about you just know how to get results you know what i mean what's what what because what, what you as, as a that's what you care about looking really lean and well but you don't know everything that's going inside so that wasn't really good so i kind of want to bring all these people together so that Everyone really can get a real understanding, yeah, of what it takes, yeah, to, to put on size or lose fat. You know, I, I just want everyone to really understand because a lot of what I've, what I've had to deal with, yeah, a lot of people, yeah, in the, uh, that try to lose weight, yeah, just don't have an understanding, yeah, and, and that's, that is one of the biggest problems. So it's not the fact you, just, you don't want to do it because there are people that don't want to do it and fair enough for them i'm not saying everyone needs to train or everyone needs to be healthy but some people just have no idea what to do sometimes people say to me oh they'll be like oh i do eat healthy and then when they tell me what they eat and i'm like how is that healthy because some people just see yeah pizza just like takeaways as unhealthy not a whole plate of rice having a whole plate of rice should be fine if I have a whole plate of rice here and one piece of chicken, that should be fine compared to having Chinese or a pizza. But it doesn't really work that way. So I kind of want, so I'm, I'm, I'm creating this platform so everyone can really, really understand of how things can work. And also, I want it to be, a, I want it to bring people together that have been through the same kind of situation. Because, for example, an ectomorph, yeah, can help you, but he's never had to go through the struggles that Edomorphs had to go through because he's just stayed focused on building, yeah? Which is difficult because he burns so much calories, so he has to really eat. I mean, I know some people that have to get up at night and drink shakes and all that to, to get bigger because they really struggle to put on weight. So in that sense, sense, sense yeah, that is where it is challenging. But on that flip side with Edomorph, yeah? Having to drop the weight is so hard, yeah, because it's really difficult when you have a life. You like going out, going out. I love to go out to eat. I love to go to the cinema. I love doing stuff, yeah. And I don't want to be on no diet when I go out. I don't want. And also, in fact, I don't like vegetables. Uh, I don't like salad. I don't like any of that stuff, yeah. It's been really, really challenging for me. So it'll just be good. It's always good to hear someone that kind of has been through the struggles, yeah. So I want, I want to bring all the personal trainers within your area. That's another thing as well, is that sometimes you've got a personal trainer in your area and you don't even know, yeah? So I can't, I'm can't. i also making sure that everyone within their area could go to personal trainers within their area. And if they want to go branch out, they can. But you get to find all the people. Also, I want to help um, um, mums, you know, uh, pregnant um, women that are pregnant. You know what I mean? There's just the people that still want to train. But it's just that there's so many personal trainers out there, but where do you find them? So it's a, it's a social platform, but also, you know, so you can find PTs, find doctors, you know what I mean? Because, you know, some people don't have the money, but some people do, yeah? And they just can't find, they just can't find it. Sometimes, you know, some of the personal trainers are not that expensive, you know what I mean? But let me just end on this. And what I want to do, let me just show you. Huh. Yeah. 
I'm out, people.